folks, I'm Steve Harding from Symphonic Source, and I've got some exciting news for you today. Dubcatcher, our Salesforce deduplication app, now has merge and convert functions. We've just listed a new version of it on the Salesforce App Exchange. It's free and can be downloaded directly into your Salesforce org. In this video, I'm going to show you how the convert function works, and in another video, I'll show you how merge works. Dubcatcher's convert function applies when using lead to contact and lead to account filters. First, as always, in order to use any of Dubcatcher's features, you'll need to have filters and rules set. The new merge and convert features are only enabled when a filter's match on insert or update action is set to report duplicate. Remember, when a matching action is set to report duplicate, Dupecatcher allows the duplicate record to be created, but it also triggers an alert for the Salesforce or the Dupecatcher admin to follow up on later. And for the purposes of this demo, I've created a simple lead to contact filter with a matching action set to report duplicate and a single rule that looks for an exact match on the email address. Now I'm going to flip over to a new lead screen that I've already begun populating with data. I'll just enter the email address that I know will trigger an alert on the match. As you can see, Dupecatcher allowed the record to be created. But I can go to the Dupecatcher Alerts tab and see that an alert was triggered by the matched email address. I can drill into that alert where I can see the details of the potential duplicate records and the fields on which they matched. From this screen, I can edit either of the records, delete either of the records, or I can convert the lead and merge it with the existing contact record. To convert the lead, simply click the Merge or Convert Duplicates button you will be presented with a table displaying the existing contact that matched and the new lead. If more than one contact or lead is displayed, simply use the radio buttons at the top to select a contact and the leads to convert. When finished, click the next button and you will be presented with a conversion submission page. Adjust any data points as needed, such as setting a follow-up task, sending a task email, or setting a reminder. For more Duke Catcher videos and information, please see our website Simple or our that. YouTube channel. And as always, we want to hear from you. So tell us what you think of Duke Catcher and what your Salesforce pains and challenges are. Thanks.